Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So, space this time, and we've made some progress, we're going to carry on. So, we're going to break away from our AI for now, just until, to give people a break from it, make sure they catch up and we'll do something simple. I'm going to go back to our asteroid, well, not going to go back, I have modelled some asteroids for us, there's 50 in there, and the reason it says 50 is because you can go in and randomly pick ones you want. So if we just scale it up, see, so it's actually big, we're going to put 0 0.05 so it's like chunky. Because then when we compare it to our player, it'll be big. So as you can see, there's our spaceship in the middle and there's 50 asteroids. So if we were to bring them over, go to the top and immerse our player in them, as you can see, they are huge. So there's 50 asteroids, they're in the description for free, just quick 50 done, I'll show you how to do that in a 3ds Max tutorial. Um, but yes, yeah, so what I'm thinking of is today, is we do a little script, when you shoot these, they explode, then it randomises whether or not they drop something. So, asteroid mining. So I think that'd be really cool, and it's really simple to do, because we've already got all the scripts. But before we do that, we're going to sort out the issue of actually collecting the... Um, what you call it, items the ship destroys us will not have any use for it. But just before I do, I'm just going to generate colliders and click apply. So that'll give all our asteroids colliders so we can bump into them and it shouldn't do anything. So as you can see, mesh collider, perfect. So now let's go up and just test it. So you'll see, we shoot the ship, it doesn't do anything. It's just As you can see, we have a hard time getting through them. So when we put those together, so we shoot in. It drops it and we can't collect it. Now the reason is we can't collect it is one because our inventory is not actually fixed yet. So if we click our character, the inventory has no grids, nothing in it. So we need to sort that. And the other option is, is the nuclear box spawns as clone. Whereas if we go to collisions here, we've told it to look for something called nuclear box full stop, just nuclear box, and that's not what we need. So easy way to fix this is because sometimes we might have a nuclear box on the floor, other times we might not. We're going to copy the entire if statement, except the brackets and the if, and after we'll put the to or sign and put that. To get the or sign you press your shift key and the key what's next to the Z, not the X, the other side, the slash and then the line. And then that will give you that, and then just after this we'll type clone. So if it equals this name or this name. So seems easy enough, so we go back, make sure it's the exact name, otherwise we have issues. The reason it puts clone on it is because it's cloning the prefab as we spawn it, that's all. So it's nothing bad. So we've done that, and now we're going to go back to our inventory, click our grids, set it to 1. Set grid icon, set it to that, and change it back to 40. So now we should have grids. So hopefully, when we go up and collect it, it should work. So we've got it, we'll go up and collect it, click, click, click. So we ran into another issue here, which is basically saying on line 76, here, it is an error with this. And the reason there's an error is because it can't find the textures, because we never assigned it, because if it equals level 9, then it loads miss scripts, which is our item starts, else loads that, which is a bit of a issue. So what we're going to do is copy this and paste it up here. In fact, we'll just paste it here and get rid of the else. So now what it'll do is if it equals level 9, load the ship stats, but load the textures anyway. But as you can see, the miss scripts are called two different things. Now to keep it easy, easier done, we're going to keep it get rid of the underscore of the ship one, because then it's the same as the items one. So if we go back, it should throw us a mirrors saying it doesn't find miss scripts underscore, but we get rid of the underscore. There. As you can see, it's assigned it now, so we go back and have a look. So we collect it, and as you can see, it adds it up. Perfect. If we go back to our inventory, you can see nuclear box, find our ship starts or item starts. Nuclear box, we have one. Which is perfect, we collected one. So that works. But we have another error in Life Systems 13, 
and simply just get rid of the underscore. That simple. So, now what we're going to do is work on the asteroids. And the first thing we're going to do is find our la... Mm, we'll set ent entity then. Yeah. And we'll say... In fact, not entity. We'll set landscape. So in our landscape folder, we'll right click. Create JavaScript. And we'll call it Object Destroy. That simple. So in here, all we're going to do is basically copy what we've done for the enemies. So if we shoot it, it damages it. Once it's nearly dead, it explodes and then spawns random things. So if we find our en entity one and our enemy, we should have a land enemy collisions. Now this is pretty much everything we need, but we do need to edit it a little bit. So we're going to copy the entirety of that and paste it into object destroy. So that's simple because we're nearly done. So we don't need enemy hit no more. In fact, we will keep enemy hit, but we'll change it to object life and object hit. We don't need coin object no more. We don't need fire particles no more or body parts. And I don't believe we don't need timer either. Boom. So we don't we don't need any of this in here. So we can get rid of that too, just like that. On collision state is hit. And all we're basically doing is working down it. So this one up here, we don't need either. So, so far we've got two variables. The life of the object, which we can set in the inspector. And then when we hit it. So for the asteroids, it'll be a clunk or something. I haven't got that yet, but that's where it'll be. So we can come down. On collision stay, so when our um, object hits it, we can go into the Hadouken for now. It'll come down and perform the hit function, which we need it to. It'll destroy our fireball, which we want it to. Then it'll spawn fire, which we don't want it to. So we can go to that. So far, one function, two variables. Simple enough. Takes the object life down. And if the object life is less than one, which it will be when we shoot it enough. Then we can say, um, random number. So we can get rid of all this here, because this is just for... Um, the death sequence of it and we're not having one because this is for an object like a telephone pole or something what might spawn coins I don't know so we can get rid of that var coin object blah 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 so we do need a reward so var reward object yeah object will be a game object and what this will be is so we can either put coins in there or we can put Fireballs, ammo, it's what the entity will spawn when you kill it, or the object. Simple. So come down, if it's less than 1. So we're going to begin just looking down. So this will create a new random between 0 and 10. So that's how many of the things we can they can spawn. I think that's good enough, we should keep it. It worked for the other one. So I'm just renaming these to what it needs to be. Yep, perfect. So it'll run this 3 times, create an XYZ. That's what we want it to do. So an X Rise range around it, so it'll explode. These will fly apart. What we could do is make it spawn little asteroids as well. So we shoot a big one. If it's big one, it'll spawn little ones, and the little ones will spawn, I don't know, particles or something. It'd be cool. So change that to that one. That one. And we'll set reward object to the thing where it spawns. So it comes down, it creates a new vector 3 position from what we've specified. So it looks random. Then it'll spawn the object, what we've told it to, in the vicinity we've told it to. Which is object pass. And then it comes down and it needs to spawn the object hit sound. So play it. Function hit. But it comes down. But we don't need it to do it. Mm, yeah, we will. So, we hit it, it goes clunk, 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 but the original intention was we hit it, and when it's dead, it goes pfft, but that's for later. So, I'm just going to hide that again for now, because we haven't got no sound, simple enough. So, it comes down, takes it away, runs it, perfect. Let's try it. should be that simple. So, we're going to not actually click the 50 asteroids, we're going to yet assign it to all the ones inside. Otherwise, we'll have to hit the parent and it won't work. So, we're going to come down and find our landscape folder and attach object destroyed to it. Boom. 
So let's see, object life will say two, the all gonna have two for now. And the reward object will be a coin. So we're gonna attach a coin to it, flop. But then what I'm gonna do is like randomly pick off some. So I've randomly picked off some and with the remaining ones, I'm gonna set the object life to three. And I'm going to set the reward object to nuclear box. So that'll do it. Sometimes it'll randomly spawn, sometimes it won't. It should work really well. So let's try it. So we'll go up and shoot it. And as you can see, our um, actual weapon is a trigger. So we're going to go up and instead of collision stay, we'll turn it to on trigger enter. And then it will be call collider. Boom. So a collision basically means two solid objects go boom. But a collider means a solid object or two triggers if you like. Any type of collider, trigger or what, goes boom. So it could be trigger so they just go right through each other. But as long as it's collided, they'll just go. But if you're searching for on trigger enter and you search for a collision, two triggers aren't going to enter each other, trigger, so they're just going to go through. That's why it throws an error. So weirdly, it wasn't registering it before, it was going through it, even though it shouldn't have. But the easy way to fix it is to click Asteroids here, scroll up to the top, and click Asteroids at the top, and click Is Trigger. Because if you look at your Fireball here, your Fireball isn't a trigger. So everything else is, so we turn it onto a trigger on the mesh. So we're going to make it so it actually enters it. So we've converted it to a, if a trigger hits it, but our fireball isn't a trigger and to turn it to it we'd have to rename loads more scripts so as you can see so an easy fix for it is to click all your asteroids and just turn them to triggers instead and that should work so now that works we go back to our script but yet it doesn't come and destroy the actual asteroid it keeps it there so at the bottom of everything all we're going to do is type destroy this dot game object so once it equals less than zero it'll destroy it but keep all the items in and we shoot it Boom. Perfect. So we can now play Asteroid Hunting. So as you can see, we've got all the objects. Let's collect them. So if you look at our inventory, we have loads of money and we've been collecting it. So it's that simple. Thank you for watching. Sorry it was a bit bouncy. Really nice asteroids. I'm thinking one day we can like surround our like entire thing in it. So like there's your limit. You cannot get out of here because there's loads of asteroids. Um, you could turn up the speed, the health of some of them, so like make it 10 and then randomly pick off some and make it like 7. So they're not so easy to destroy because asteroids, well they rock, you're not going to die that quick. So you shoot them, so they take some damage now but you actually get some decent reward. Maybe one day we'll set it to say it doesn't always spawn as much, so it's really easy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.